glove on for this. Lovely. Little game for you, Dan. Okay, I love like, games. Yeah, we like our little games, don't we? We do. Um, how soft can you hit it, is the question. So can you hit target when having to hit too much club soft? And as this unfolds, we'll explain there's a lesson in here for everyone. Because I see many different genres of students, but I do have two categories that repeat a lot. Not everyone falls into them, but I have the guys and girls who want to whack, so they'll hit less club hard always. And then you see the other ones who want to hit more club soft. And I would say there's definitely more of a pattern in amateurs to have less club hard than more club soft. Let's see how good we are at hitting it soft and what kind of style of players we think we are. And how that might affect what they do when they go out and play next. Shall we play? You're first in there. I'll go first. <coughs> what yard has have we got? I've put it at 130 yards for you. So 130 yards and what club have we chosen to kick us off? It was seven iron. So we've got to hit a seven iron. So that is yeah. two clubs. I'd be hitting a nine iron here. You'd 130. Be probably, yeah. Wedge, I'd be hitting wedge. Yeah, I'd be between hard wedge or soft nine. Okay. Nearest the pin wins. Oh, that's got left and long. Oh, we're going to have to do our maths again, aren't we? <laughs> oh, I just need to hit the green there and I've beaten you. I mean, you're, so you're 14.5 so left and you're, yeah, but you've totaled 142. Because mm. I guess we're totaling, aren't we? We better do total. We've got a real target out there, you let's, know. Let's give you your one, all right? Your seven iron. Just make you feel at home. Oh, thank you, yes. All did right. you use yours, did you? I used my home. Oh, that's good. So what are you doing when you're hitting it soft like this, 130? Because you're what, 150, 155 with seven iron? Yeah, up to 165, Push. like maxing out. Yeah, okay, so what are you now gonna do? Are you gonna change the swing path? Are you gonna change the face? Yeah, so path? I'm gonna aim left. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna have the face open to a path as I hit, to hit a little kind of cut and add loft. Yeah. So I'm using that axis to add loft. Okay. So I'm probably going to be, I don't know, actually with this shot on 30, 10 left, face 5 open to a path, kind okay. of big eye cut thing. So you're definitely not leaning handle back? Because I do no, see I that with be... some people, people try and like no. lean back on it. I'm using that axis okay. a lot. Yeah. Um, if this was like 130 into the wind, so you were hitting more 140 distance, yeah. I would do it more neutrally, I wouldn't be cutting it I think. Okay. Because I would want the I, the cutty version feels like it's always going to be on the short side, even though this might be long. The straight version, too much club, hitting it softer, always feels like it's on the longer side. Yeah. So you put me into a wind uphill, I'll do too much club, the straighter version, because I feel like that's never going to come up short. Yeah. But this feels like it's only going to go long, so I'm doing everything to try and get on the short side of my miss. But also with the wind into, you're sort of playing around with spin there as well, aren't you? And trajectory more than yeah. anything. Yeah. I'm trying to not go up. This will go in the air more. Yeah. Right, I mean, look where my feet are Yeah. At like the Callaway sign. Yeah, but they're literally just down there. I'm literally, I could do this for me. Like, they're literally, I'm just like going left. I'm yeah. not even precise with them. Yeah. It's all about down there and where I feel like the club is going. Just giving myself room to swing a bit left. So your speed. Oh, that's got to be It's pretty good though for distance, I reckon, in the end. Oh, rolling out fast greens. Stop! 130, you finished bang on 130. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> so I am eight offline, you were 14, and I'm the distance. I mean, look at the trail, see what I'm doing? Yeah. I, mean, I didn't start it far enough left. Yeah. Good shot, though. Well, I feel quite comfortable. Hitting that type of shot. I, I, well, I see you do this a lot. I grew up playing with a half set. Yeah. So odd numbers, pitcher wedge nine, seven, five, and then yeah. into fairway woods. So if it was ever an eight iron, I'd always go seven growing up, and then it's softer. I'd never go nine. Very rarely, never say never, because obviously there's some situations where you just think the height and whatever, I'm going to bang this. But nine times out of ten, if it was the eight iron, I was going to the seven. Yeah. If it was the six iron, I was going to the five. Because I can add loft and take it off. It feels comfortable for me to, 
to take stuff off rather than to bang it too hard. Yeah. Uh, when I get students in, I always like to play the guessing game in my own head. Yeah. Working them out and all the rest of it, top and tail in. Um, I often feel like I can call if they're a banger or they're a feeler. Even to how they just walk in that door. And obviously, there are plenty that break the mould. That they come in the door, crashing around, bit late, banging around, banging the club down, get on there straight away, pulling the driver, want to whack straight away. And I just think, right, this guy or girl is like... They're a, they want to whack things. It's like the idea of getting them to it at 7 iron 130 just isn't in their vocab. Where the guy or girl turns up 10 minutes early, it's out there chatting with Lester, chilled out, cup yeah. of coffee, coming in, yeah, comes in, strolls. You know, I often think, oh, it, often I see it relate to personality yeah. a little bit. But then how do you explain me then? Because you I, do I'm come in crashing and banging around a lot <laughs> of the time. <laughs> but I'm soft. You are. You are. And do you know why that is? No. So I think it's my artistic side. Yeah, I would it's have to agree with that. It's the feely creative side, creative and that's where bit. I'm different. Okay. Because I am buzzy and quick and like, get yeah. But then I obviously can spend a lot of time doing like the smallest task, yeah. hence I know how to use all these cameras and all the rest of it. And yeah. It, that's me doing the so attention to detail bits. Mm, see? So it's hard to call. It's a fun game. You should do it with students. Try and pick them. You don't have to tell them. I used to do it, I sometimes used to write it down. They'd come in and I'd ask some questions and I would yeah. write down on a bit of paper here, turn it upside down, what I thought their club path and face the pass would be, or angle of attack, just from what they said to me. And I used to get it right a lot. It was like the funny, I wanted to get it to a stage where I could like press a button and a board would come out 100 yards up on the range saying, John is eight down, seven across with a face, six to seven open to bath. And like reveal it after they did their shots, and then like, oh, look, how are you doing that? <laughs> like a card trick, do you know what I mean? Magic. Right, four iron. Yeah, one, four iron. What yardage have you got? I've put us at 160 now. And what's your yardage with a four iron? 194, 195, bang on. So are you feeling this or not? I'm gonna have to feel it, yeah. No, I mean, as in, is this something you feel that you would hit that much club to this distance ever? Hmm. Harder maybe, or easier than the <clears throat> seven iron shot we just did. Maybe if I'm, it maybe if I'm trying to get it to a back pin, heavily into win links course, try to chase something up there. Maybe I might do this, but not not very often. Show me. <laughs> seven yards long, one six seven and twenty something left, is it? Yeah. Nineteen point nine left. That's beat. Am I one down I'm one down, aren't I? Yeah, going two by the looks of it. Yeah. It's not a shot of practice, I'm really honest. <laughs> so the real hard way to play this game, which we might do at the end, is that you're not allowed to hit the cut. Okay. Okay, I like that. So Play can you do it, it just so you're now playing with speed, Yeah. only speed and a bit of loft, so you're not allowed, we're manipulating the loft. Mm. So for this is not a shot I would play because I would always go to my hybrid. When you give me less loft and a straight face like that, this club to me just says hit it hard, just whack it. Yeah. Doesn't say it needs, finesse. It needs speed. So I've changed my club makeup, and I think this is so important for everyone, you know, my style of golf is that I am happier to go more hit it soft. Certainly was when I was playing. Yeah. Changed a bit as I stopped playing through anxiety a bit. Sometimes you feel a bit nervous. The feely ones feels harder. Mm -hmm. It's better to take less club and just bang it hard. You just like just whack it and let it go. Yeah. Um, but I'm certainly moving back to it now, taking more and hitting it less, and I quite enjoy it. Um, but you give me this kind of club and I just think, no, I, I want to change my set to fit my style. And I think so many buying clubs out there are not thinking this way. A, they don't know that this is a style or not or what one they are. So then B, how can they, if you don't tell the fitter this, how would they ever know how to make this set up a club? Does that make sense? As soon as the fitter gives me a four and I say to them, well, I don't need that. It's so interesting you say that when you talk about the confidence and anxiety. I see it so much with pitching and chipping. What and you, do you mean? And you generally find that when you get someone who's anxious about chipping, mm -hmm. they almost put the ball position further back, they give it a good old thump down with a bit more, try and give it a bit more loft. Yeah. Whereas when you see a player who's not 
anxious about their chipping or anything like that. Yeah. They're a lot more sort of smoother. They're happy to let the club work and use the, use the sole a little bit more um, and deliver the correct amount of loft. Does, does that make sense? Totally. Right? So the question I always ask for those kind of people, and I've asked it of myself with the way I'm playing more now, is at what point do you start challenging that anxiety? Yeah. Like, do you give up to it or do you challenge it? And I quite like to challenge it. That's why I'm going back to hitting more less. You'll see it in my wedges. When my wedges were a bit iffy, you watch progression through the video, Matt used to say, I used to hit like a 60 hard. How far you got 70 yards? What are you doing? I'm going to bang my 60. Yeah. And he used to go like, what are you doing? Yeah. And I used to think, well, I just don't want to fat it. I'm not going to play for your back in the starts like you're saying, I'm just going to punch it. Where now, if you watch the more recent vlogs that I'm posting, I am much more hitting, so 70 yards, I'm hitting a 50 degree. Yeah. And even my 56, and just like feeling it in there. Yeah. So I've challenged myself to try and improve. And I don't know the answer if it's going to work, but yeah. you've got to challenge yourself to find out the work. And I went through a little bit of this. Yeah. So I was, I was going through a spell where just around the edge of the greens, chipping. Especially when I had to maybe just go over something or if I had a nice tight lie just yeah. to work with it, it I, the more competitive golf I was playing, the more I was fearing it and just trying to get away from it. Yes. Well, I've seen that with playing with you, which I think has been a massive difference for us yeah. playing together because you've never really played the way we play, have you? No. Where it doesn't matter if you win or lose, you want to win because yeah. you're competitive. I would say you're as competitive, if not more than me, and that's yeah. saying something because I know I'm pretty competitive. Um, and you would resort always to your low one and what have you, where you're breaking yeah. away because yeah. you want to challenge yourself more. And, and playing, playing in the environment that we play in together in the videos, mm. I'm not anxious. Yeah. I'm not feeling that. I'm, well, it's more fun, isn't it's it? It's more fun. It's just, yeah, you're just playing around. So it gives me an opportunity to practice and play around with those different types of shots. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Which is often the difference between playing competitively all the time, like people doing their medals, mm that can sometimes petrify people into getting stuck to having a balance between competing and practicing. Think about the best in the world. When Tiger was playing at his best, what was he playing a year, 11 events or something? Because he knew he wanted to peak for certain events, yeah. four of them majors, yeah. so he would rather probably spend time working to a stage yeah. than just playing week in, week out. The guys who are playing week in, week out on tour, they have to because they need to earn the money to keep their cards. They yeah. don't want to do that. I spoke to Sullivan, he's away like, he told me he plays in like 23 or 5 events and you could see him like going, you know, me and Sean, his caddy, like, we have to get away from each other. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, they love each other and Sean's the coolest guy in the world, I'm not saying that, but it's like, you know, I travel, what, 15 weeks of the year mm. with Matt and sometimes you and like we can't, we, we're good mates, but like we need to go to our own rooms if yeah. we can. Like you just, you know, it's that balance between play and practice that you'll yeah. get work for you, yeah. isn't it? Absolutely right. Um, right, what are we doing? 160? 160 four iron. So my, my four iron would run out to 190 to 200. Yeah. If I did it. And well struck. That's about 138 carries, a bit right, but it'll be the distance. Go on, get up! Oh dear, oh, this max. is tight here. We need, oh, <laughs> they're close, aren't they? <laughs> Let's do some maths, we'll come back in a second. Yes, yeah, so I'm 6.4 oh, out. Winner, winner, two up. Mm. Patterns forming. Mm. Just for fun. Shall I go first? Yeah, you should go first with two up. So we're going to go 23 degree hybrid. We'll do a driver to finish as well. Let's just okay. do this one because I think this illustrates, not that I'm going to hit this. What like yard is we got? 140. 140 with a 23 degree hybrid, which is 200 yards. And we're still, we're not, are we allowed to cut this or do, do whatever, whatever you want? Do whatever you want. Okay. 140. Pattern with where I'm missing every shot, isn't there? Bit right. So I'm going to try and realise that. Looks That's pretty good. There. <coughs> there we go, look. Ah, oh, still right. Sit. Sit. That hits good. Breathe too quick. Barely hit that. That was not a bad effort, was it? That was a good effort. You're pretty good with that little rinky thing, aren't you? 115 and 7 offline. Mm. It's a big cutty chip. Okay. Oh, that's starting right. 
That's not how you play that, is it? Stop! That's not gonna stop. Stop. That stop. Came in stop. Low. stop. There's you. Oh, you There's bugger! You. There's you. <laughs> Did you mean to play that like that? I didn't want to cut it anymore. No. I kept missing everything left. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you went for the straighter option. So I went for the straighter option, which, which was a bit, Do just the a maths. bit pushy, wasn't you, it? You definitely look closer. Okay. So you're three. three. You're seven off. And I'm 10 off. Yeah. And I'm. A bit further right than me. Marginal. So you've won so by like by one. A, yeah. Or two. <clears throat> Which I will take. Yeah. With. I've, I've all beaten you with your own club. Well, mine was a better shot, bro. <laughs> driver the finish, Dan. Would you play soft drivers very often? Uh, I do now, more so nowadays, blame with you guys, but I wouldn't have in the past. Definitely not. You'd have gone to your three wood. Three wood or just, yeah, smash a five wood. You call that. the yardage then. What should we have for the driver? We're both around 260. 200? Oh, okay, that's really short, yeah. Let's get 200. 200, yeah, that's, it is. So that's 200 total. You've got to fly this about 180. So this is uber, uber soft driver. <laughs> okay, should we have a little bit of fun then with this one yeah. on the last one, or do you want to still cut? No, I don't mind. We'll do Got to go straight. Pause. This is where you start getting trying to control the hands, isn't it? Speed, you're not allowed to hit the high cutty one. Okay. Yeah. It's on straight, but you turned it. Yeah, you turned it massive. It's a low dipper. Still running. It's still going. One eight six yards. But it's so far left. Look at that. <laughs> Thirty yards offline. Mm. You didn't like that, did you? Not a fan of that shot, to be honest. So I used to play a soft driver all the time. But you what? You used to do a little cutty one though? No, I would do down the handle and literally swing at no speed. Okay. But I wouldn't hit 200, it would have to be into the wind. Yeah. Obviously I wouldn't as a kid, but I wouldn't... I just didn't like going from big head to small head. Yeah. I you liked the confident. big head. Confidence with a lot of face. I just liked it, and it wasn't I wasn't confident with smaller, I just didn't see the point. If I could hit the target, why would you take the big head away? Mm. So I'm gonna go right down the grip. Okay. 200 in there. Oh, See, that was proper junior swing. Yeah. I think I've gone too soft. Yeah. Well, Sit down. Chase it up. Sit down. Chase. Stop. That stopped. Just got caught up in the Much there. straighter. Oh, I'm closer. So you're 10 yards, 11 yards off line. And you would you end up one six eight? Do the maths. We'll come Let's back. Get, we'll come back. We'll come back to you. Hey. You've done it. I'm beating you. <laughs> so you. that's all square, is it? Now that's to all, all flat. What a comeback that How was. How did you get that? Mine was ten yards you, off well, line. You got caught up in the rough short. Junior, you low junior, snapper. junior. You're shot. in the trees on the left. Yeah. But did you see how slow I swung that? Yeah. It was junior, junior yeah. swing. So it's interesting, isn't it, how happy I am. I just pad it. You know, I just, if I towed that a bit, I'm just happy to pad it out there. Yeah. Like, if that was a better strike, that's going the straight as. I've got no, I'm happy swinging soft, where you take speed off and you look like you're fighting. You want to be going at a certain speed, isn't it? So, Because I would say that with us too. Yeah, I would agree. And Go on, what do you mean? No, I'd agree, because what you're saying is a kid you grew up wanting to hit little pat pat shots yeah when i grew up i was a big drawer of the ball yeah yeah so it was harder for me to hit the softer shot yeah so i would always go down a club and or bang and, and just hit it hard because you're de lofting i'm a de lofter yeah so you're happy to take loft Absolutely. off or i'm happy to add. add loft we need a decider don't we you choose it you choose it got it what are you calling it then 220 you want 220 yeah Jesus. can we have 215 or 230 you choose it 2.15 2.15 it is so the green's now 2.15 away and can we cut yeah. or do we have to just do the junior no swing? you do whatever you want oh do whatever you want 2.15 and do what you like I'm going to do I like that little junior swing of yours I'm going to do a little bit of that too. so basically I did my normal swing but just swung yeah. like 20 mile an hour slower I like that 2.15 junior Dan <laughs> It's grow up, Dan. It takes me back, doesn't it? Grow up, Dan. Different looking driver back then. 
Oh, that's yeah, you good. You patted that. Huh? Is that drawing? It's staying straight, but I reckon it's short. Oh. It's way short. Oh. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh. One seven three and about 15 off. Yeah, 14.4 right. The honour. I didn't want the honour there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to react to that. I line, wanted to react to what you did. 215 now, do what you like. Yeah. Junior swing cut ball. Ju oh, hello. So it's a Junior mixture of both ball. swings. Just basically. remember you were short last time, yeah, alright? Okay. You've given that a little pop, haven't you? Oh, that's a lovely shot. That's going in there. Go right, guys. Bit left. Got the good for yard. Surely that's up near 200. 210. Yeah. No, that's a win. That's a win. By a mile. I'm, look, I'm back yeah. here, look. We don't even need maths on that. 205 no. to 11 offline. Yes. We do love a good game, don't we? Well, what I love about a good game, right, which I think, again, I'd like to see more of my students do if they get the opportunities and play with mates and stuff at Rangers, certainly during the winter, where I think the winter is such a good time to discover stuff, mm. is that, well, you learn a shot there. Yeah. The junior Well, I mean, we're taking that to extreme. You know, if you give me a, I don't know, like a two, 35-yard par three, so that's pushing my three woods to its limits. Why would I not hit? So 235 par three, you know, I might think, well, that's pushing my three wood. Why hit that hard? Well, I feel quite comfortable just patting a driver up there. And that's flow 233. So that's, going, that's me trying to hit 235, right? Yeah. If that green is stopping, that's carried 234. Let's run to the back on a 230 yard path. Three. And if the green's wet and stopping, it's 10, 15 foot away if I can control direction. Yeah. If I feel comfortable hitting more club soft, as long as I hit target, you know, it's, it, I'm going to play it. I'm yeah. going to do it. Um, lots of students, I think, don't realise, like I say, they don't realise what style they are out of the two. Mm -hmm. And then it's hard to build equipment around it, loft around it, and then choose club around it. Because they're always thinking they're better if they bang it. Well, if you try hitting it one more and soft, all the other way around. Like Matt, I would never get it. Soft hybrids, and before he played with me, like he just would, didn't even know it was a shot. Yeah. A hybrid to him was a wood that you whack and it goes miles. And I used to say, well, why would you not play your hybrid? Like, you know, cut it up. And it's, which he now actually does a bit with his ring kit. Mm. Um, it's always, what I love about games like this is it makes you challenge yourself. If you do it with someone, you learn and bounce off them as well. Yeah. You hit it hard, or do you hit it soft? And I'll be honest with you, I default more to the softer swing, but that doesn't mean I don't choose the hit it hard option as well. What I like to be able to do is know the answer to both of those questions, and then play a numbers game. Golf's like gambling. Sometimes you put it all on a number, and sometimes you cover red or black. You don't. It's not the same all the time, mm. but you've got to be able to know, I think, the odds, the situation and how much you've got to spend. Would agree. You agree? Absolutely. And just playing these games with you, it just highlights to me that I, that I haven't done this for years. Yeah. We did this growing up as kids, but and, and the more we do it, the more I enjoy doing it, but it just shows that I've got things to learn with it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And yeah. want to put it into practice. Totally.